Thank you, DJ. You're so talented. <laughs> Let's give it up for all the great comedians who was up on the stage tonight. It's always good to see comedians feeding their family or trying to feed their families. Because you don't know how their show is going to turn out, you know? You never know what's going on in this business. Some days you could be funny. Some days you can lose it. Some days your girl will break up with you. You just don't know in the game. And life is beautiful like that. How many people had strict parents growing up, though? Strict parent? My mom, God bless her, was really strict. But the only rule she really enforced was making sure you was downstairs to get them grocery bags when she came home from grocery shopping. She didn't care what you was doing, be downstairs to get them bags. So one day, my oldest brother, Darren, tried to commit suicide. And my mother just came home from grocery shopping. And I ran downstairs and said, Mom, Mom, Darren's trying to kill himself. My mom said, I don't care. He better come down here and get these bags. Tell him to do that on his own damn time. So we decided to run away from home. And we kept going around the block and around the block. And this cop stopped us out of nowhere. He said, excuse me, boys, where are you going? We said, we're running away from home. He said, well, if you're running away from home, how come you're going around the block so many times? We said, it's the best we can do. Our mother won't let us cross the street. <laughs> because rules is everything in the family, right? <laughs> rules is everything in the family. Mothers know when you had a woman up in your house, when you're not supposed to have a woman in the house. Yep. Women come in your mom, come in the house and just start sniffing. <laughs> Who has some hoe up in my house? And then you always got a brother or sister that's a con artist in the family. They always blackmail bail you so they give them some money so they don't tell your mom that you had a girl up in the house. It was always that type of situation, right? And it's crazy when you had that type of thing in your life. It's really crazy. Then you have people like your uncle. I had an uncle named Lucius. <laughs> uncle Lucius was crazy as hell. But I remember back in the day, I used to smoke weed. So I'm sitting at this TV. I was on the run. The police was looking for me. I was hiding out. But I, you know, I had a couple houses. I'm sitting there kicking it, smoking weed. And all of a sudden, I started hallucinating. Never watch the Discovery Channel when you're smoking weed. Because all of a sudden, this lion stopped out of nowhere. Started looking right at me. And I didn't want to make eye contact with the lion, right? So I started looking at the ground, talking about, is this tiger looking at me? So I hopped over the couch. Because you know he's trying to get the weed. And my Uncle Lucius came. He said, TK, get down. That tiger going to get us. I hide behind the little plant. I move the plant out the way and say, TK, just wait there till commercial. Because <laughs> getting high ain't like it is today. You know, getting high today is on a whole nother level. Back then, you had either cocaine or heroin or weed. Now everybody smoke weed and pretend they're getting high. You see people smoke weed like, oh, 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 high. <laughs> but that's how most men turn gay. Because weed is not for men to pass around. Weed is for a girl and a guy in a room with a bottle of Dom Perignon or some beer with a, with a blanket underneath the door to get down by yourself. This is why these men turn gay, because they start hallucinating. Once you start passing saliva to saliva, and these guys have these rays, you think that's a girl. This how it go down. You think this is a girl. Then you go through life and you try to date different people. I don't like dating women over 40 because they start losing cartilage in their knees. I don't like dating women over 45 because they always talk about cut the ceiling fan off. You gotta have good credit when you grow up. You have to have good credit. Or you do them. I'm looking around a lot of you women. A lot of y'all have met men that didn't have good credit. Now your credit messed up. That's why you in here looking sad. Some of y'all here look like y'all worn out. 
Now you're over 40. And you're by yourselves. I'm looking around the room. A lot of you women are by yourselves. And you're about to die. Because in the 80s, when somebody wanted you, you thought you was too cute. You didn't want to be submissive. But now that you're about to die, you want to be submissive to somebody so you can have somebody nice at your burial so they can say something proper at your funeral. But what women always forget when you're playing that role, I always tell women, you know there's a group of college women graduating in June. It's a whole new team coming out here. Why would a dude put himself under that kind of pressure? A lot of you ladies got babies from another man and didn't want to meet a man to take on that responsibility that you laid up in the Hotel Hilton, room 517, with your knees behind your neck because at that age, you was flexible. <laughs> now you want to put this pressure on the new dude. Why? When there's a group of college women graduating in June. It's a whole new team coming out here. You got men want to be in love. Men are talking about that. Yo, that's my girl. I love her. No, you don't. Some of y'all talk about, I'll die for my girl. Why would you die for her? Why? It's not in the Bible. Why would you do that when there's a group of college women graduating in June? It's a whole new team coming out here. Dudes be putting themselves under too much pressure. Yeah, that's my girl, dog. I love her. You out your mind. You let somebody come to my house to try to get my girl. I'm like, she in the bathroom. <laughs> and I'm going to follow them, too. I'm like, what she do? What she do? Because I ain't dying over nobody. It ain't going down. You ladies got to stop dating men with Timberlands. When you see a man with a Timberland, Run. I'm looking around, and all you ladies are extremely attractive, but I don't see no Rolex or no half a carry earrings on none of y'all. And y'all been having oral sex with your man for years. You're losing. You mean to tell me the guy you have oral sex with couldn't put nothing on layaway at Jarrett? On the way out, don't buy a DVD. I want to smack you. You need to be smacked. A lot of you women date men, and they don't have no accomplishments. If a man has not accomplished anything, you should not lay down with him. A lot of y'all giving sex and staying in Brooklyn. The rule to meeting a dude to have sex is a dude got to take you out of state. I don't mean to Jersey. I don't mean to Philadelphia. An airline ticket. Fly somewhere. Some of y'all don't even know what a passport is. Y'all don't even know what stamps are. Not stamps to go on an envelope, stamps when you go through customs. That means you're going somewhere. Your definition of going to the beach is Staten Island. Staten Island, you come out of Staten Island water, you might as well go straight to the funeral home. The chemicals in that thing will kill you within 72 hours. How you doing, young man? All right. What do you do for a living, player? Uh, armed security. You have a gun on you now? Yeah. Did you not know armed security? <laughs> Somebody come in here right now and say, everybody got to get down. You got to get down, too. <laughs> but that's armed security. I got armed security, Paul. I'm going to tell you what's important to me. I watched a lot of you women come in here and men. And y'all live in New York. I live in Vegas. What's so funny, and I want to share this with you, and don't take offense to it. I really don't care. <laughs> Your coat game is horrible. 
I saw a lot of y'all coming here. The coats that y'all have in here is horrible. Who raised y'all? Where did you get these coats? I'm looking, I'm saying, why does this person have this effed up coat on? The coat is horrible. It don't match nothing you have on, you just threw on a coat. You got guys, it's 15 degree weather, with hoodies on. Who raised these guys? Your money not right, and you shouldn't be out. Five out of seven men here right now. Five out of seven men in here right now has pee stains in the underwear. <laughs> Five out of seven right now has pee stains in the underwear. You know why? Because you don't dab. When you go in the bathroom, you're supposed to dab. You got a pee stain. You got a pee stain. You got a pee stain. You got a dab. I'm a five-star type guy. I park my car in valet. If I meet a woman that park her car in self-parking, I can't date you. Because I'm not a self-parking type of guy. I'm in Chicago, and me and my crew, we tail it up. My whole crew caked up. So I met a girl in the club, and I wanted to kick it with her. So I threw my boy my keys. And I'm walking outside with the girl. I stop at ballet. She keep walking. I'm like, oh, what is going on here? But because of booty, booty will hypnotize a man. So next thing I know, I'm walking past self-parking. Now I'm in regular parking. We walk up to a bright blue geostorm. I can't even get on the side of the passenger side because the door lock is broke. She says, come around this way. Come through this side. So I come through the driver's side, but now I can't get in because there's a baby seat blocking my seat. And the seat belt didn't work because she had a knot to hold it in. So she said, let me get back in there. So she scoots in, unlocks the knot. I get in, and she got clothes in the back. So I got to carry the baby seat on my lap. As we driving, I notice I can't see out the window on my side. Cause the defroster is not working. I said, can I see where I'm going? She said, roll that down, roll that window down. So now I got the window down, all this air coming in, but people are now leaving the club. They're like, hey, ain't that TK Kirkland? I'm trying to turn my head, but the baby seat keeps blocking my head from going all the way to the left. We at the light. Some of my homies said, yo, TK, you know there's a group of college women graduating in June. It's a whole new team coming out here. Thank you so much. <laughs>